When you're having some network issues with the PlayStation 5, there can be a whole range of different causes. One of the most frequent things that people will suggest you do online is to switch over to use Google's DNS servers. Um, this is a perfectly safe thing to do and it is quite easy to do and it is a great way to troubleshoot options that might be going on with your poor network connection. Um, it is common for many ISPs who will automatically assign a DNS to have some issues of their own which will cause their DNS service to not work correctly and may cause complete outage of um, any sort of networking on the PlayStation 5. Um, so since you still have internet connection while this is happening, the quickest solution is to go on and change to Google's DNS servers. So this video will show you how to do that. So from the home menu of the PS5, you need to go up and over to the settings menu. And from here, you need to click into network Go down to settings, set up internet connection, and from here you'll see all of, of what's going on in your network at the moment. Um, if you go down here, just set up manually, and in this case I will go with LAN cable because I'm using that, but if you're using Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and do that, the options are the same. And when you go down here to DNS settings, you need to change this from automatic to manual, and you'll see two options for DNS. So for the primary DNS, you need to go 8.8.8.8. .8 and for your secondary DNS, 8.8.4.4. And once you're done, click the done button, and you will now reconnect to the internet using Google's DNS servers. And these have a very high uptime. So there's never any issues with speeds. Chances are you may even find that Google's DNS is providing you a faster gameplay experience online than your default DNS settings, in which case it's perfectly fine to leave them set like this forever. Just remember that if you ever change Wi-Fi settings, you will probably have to go in and rechange this DNS settings. That's all you need to do to use Google DNS settings, and hopefully this helps fix your networking issues. Talk to you later.